It was the tectonic uplift that pushed the peaks of the Grand Teton Mountains of western Wyoming thousands of feet into the air, but it was the glacier ice that wrought the deep, lush, U-shaped valleys that make the range so unique. 15,000 years ago, glaciers covered these mountains, with some ice flow over a mile deep. Today, remnants of these ancient glaciers can still be found in the high elevations of the Teton Mountains, like this sheet of ice here at Garnet Canyon, beneath the summit of Middle Teton. Like rivers, glaciers carve deep canyons between peaks by picking up loose rocks called talus and pulling them along the glaciers, moving slowly but steadily down the mountains. The vast fields of rock that glaciers leave in their wake are known as moraines. The head of the glacier is also known as a cirque. Glaciers are formed by the compaction of snow, which being compressed over time actually changes its crystalline structure. Before the appearance of glaciers, the valleys in between mountain peaks tend to be V-shaped. Glaciers both deepen and widen those valleys by picking up loose material and impacting the ground underneath their immense weight.